YOLO Composing Gloves here and today I'm going to show you how to install a third party library into Contact. Sometimes they don't have library tabs because these are expensive and you have to go through NI and all this stuff. So a lot of times you just have the files and they just want you to load it directly from the files, which you know is no big deal. It actually works out really well. Contact provides a way to do this. So first when you download your library, you're going to want to put them in a similar folder. So for example, in my file system, I have a folder, if I come down here, I put them on an SSD so they load really fast. I have a folder for contact libraries. And here's a bunch of companies that don't necessarily have library tabs. Some of them do, but many of them don't, like 8DO doesn't, because they just cost more money and you're just paying for the right to basically have this. And there's a couple other things that come with it, but in, in many ways it's not worth it. So these instruments are great, but how do I load these instruments, right? Because I don't have a library tab. So once you have them there, you go over to your files tab inside of contact. And if this part of your contact is missing, just come over here to this little panel set and make sure the browser is on. Cause if you don't have it on, you have something that looks like that. And that can be like, where is it? So that's where it is. So you go to files and in files, you simply navigate using a file structure. Now I know what you're thinking. This sucks. <laughs> because it's a file structure. Like I'm gonna have to dig through this every single time. But if you notice mine opened up to the last spot I was at. So this is actually very efficient many times. And if you find yourself going to the same folder a lot, what you can do is you come up here to the view tab and you have quick jumps. So for example, I use this spot a lot and this just happens to be on quick jump too. But I also have a second drive where I have lots of specific instruments on that one because that's a portable drive and I use it with my laptop. So I don't want to have the same libraries twice. So I have it and I'll hook it up when I'm at home. But when I'm on the go, I'll take this drive with me. So I have certain instruments that I really like. So that's on my E drive. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to quick jump one and we're going to go to, this is the gloves plug. It's the L drive, not the E drive, the L drive. And you see, I have another contact instruments and these ones might have some duplicates, but for the most part, they're all different because these are the ones that I want to take with me when I work with my laptop. So I'm going to set this and maybe I want this one to be set as a spot that's saved. And you see it's been saved. So now I could quickly jump back and forth between the two different contact uh, library folders. And let's select a library in here. So now it's been selected. So you need to click a library in there for it to register here. And now I could quickly go back and forth if the libraries don't have official tabs. Now there is one other option, but this comes with a little bit of warning. So for example, there's that if you right click in the instrument rack area, you get a quick load menu and you see I filled it out and added some folders. You can right click and add folders and things. And this is really nice because you can have, maybe you have instruments from all sorts of different libraries. You're gonna have them all really fast loaded here. However, if you put too many instruments in here, this thing can take a long time to load, depending on the instrument. Uh, this became more and more apparent when I started putting 8DO stuff in there. So in order to avoid this, just don't put too many in there. Only put the ones that you really want to load quickly. Or there might be another way around this. You might be able to use just mini folders. And that way, when you click on the folder, it'll only look up those instruments. Because certain instrument files, it, it scans them or something. It causes the system to get bogged down. I don't know if this will probably be fixed at some point, but for now, just a warning about the quick load. Cause I love using quick load over anything else cause it's so fast. But for like 8DO stuff, I just leave it as a tab that's open that I can get to. Because if I try doing it through here, it just really slows down contact. So that is how you would load stuff. So for example, if I like, uh, let's, I just installed one called the AI Electron Reactor. And I'm just gonna come in here, select it, and do you see there's the instrument folder right there. So if you click on them, it'll show the contents down here. And you just double click and it loads. Give it a second. This I believe is more of, I don't know what this is actually, but for whatever reason, the first load for me is always slow. And then after that, it's fast. So there we go. There's the instrument. Let me close it and open it again. Whoops. Let me close it and open it again. And there it goes, see really fast. I don't know why the first load is slow. I'm sure there's a reason that I could check out, but usually I don't mind it because I don't always turn my computer off that often unless I need to update or something. So I'm, I'm willing to wait just a little bit. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed.